And finally today, as Washington recovers from a crisis of its own making, it is worth remembering the 51st anniversary of the very real Cuban Missile Crisis, our Face the Nation flashback. A CBS News special report, Anatomy of a Crisis. It was October 1962, the height of the Cold War, and a U.S. spy plane discovered Russian nuclear missiles on the island of Cuba. The purpose of these bases can be none other than to provide a nuclear strike capability against the Western Hemisphere. In a televised address, President Kennedy announced a naval blockade on all shipments to the island and demanded the Soviet Union withdraw the missiles. Should these offensive military preparations continue, thus increasing the threat to the hemisphere, further action will be justified. Americans prepared for nuclear war, and the American military went to the highest alert. 90 miles away on public beaches in Key West, a startling reminder that we meant what we said. Rockets, where days before there had been nothing but sun and sand. This just part of the Florida buildup that must have appeared so menacing to Khrushchev and Fidel Castro. For 13 long days, the U.S. stood its ground, working through back channels to facilitate an end to the standoff. On October 27th, Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev sent word to the White House that Russia would remove the missiles if the United States agreed not to invade Cuba. The crisis was averted. It was unimaginable that just a year later, President Kennedy would be gunned down during the campaign trip to Dallas. Back in a minute.